Mmm. Yeah. It's really good. Really, really nice. Hi there, and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to be making masala millet. Masala millet is rich in flavorful spices to support metabolism, as well as greens that support peristalsis for easier bowel movements. This dish is gently spiced with cardamom, which is a mucus destroyer, and a spice masala. Now this masala millet comes together in just 20 minutes, giving you both cooked greens and a grain ready to eat at the same time. I really enjoy this dish, and so I'm sharing it with you. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the Ayurvedic health benefits of millet. With a history of cultivation that traces back over 10,000 years, millet is an essential, gluten-free, fiber-rich grain for humanity. Millet is also highly drought tolerant, suggesting its importance to our future food supply. However, with the widespread adoption of wheat over the last century, millet has largely fallen out of favor. In fact, most people in the United States have probably never even tried it. Now that's a true shame, particularly for anyone looking for an alternative to rice or wheat that's light, warming, and dry. Because by comparison, rice and wheat are heavy, moist, and cooling. So if you're the type of person who feels heavy and stagnant, then millet is going to help lighten you up. It's also going to cleanse your blood by helping to remove toxins. Millet, interestingly, is also higher in protein than rice, which is a positive, but that also means it's a little heavier to digest than rice. And so for this reason, you always want to cook your millet with spices and healthy fats to help with assimilation. So let me show you exactly how to do that and how to make this recipe step by step. So for the millet, we're gonna combine the water, the millet, the ghee, and the cardamom in a small saucepan. We're gonna bring that to a boil, reduce the heat to low, and cook, covered, for 10 minutes. Meanwhile, we wanna decide what type of greens we're gonna be using. For this recipe, you can use asparagus, or any type of leafy green, such as kale, Swiss chard, or spinach. Today I'm using kale, and so you want to wash your kale and chop it into bite-sized pieces. And then we're going to add those greens on top of the partially cooked millet and cook them for another five to six minutes. So the millet finishes cooking while the greens cook. At that point, we're going to turn off the heat and let it stand covered for about five more minutes while you prepare the sauce. Now the sauce is super simple. You're just gonna combine some ghee or olive oil, fresh lime juice, your spice masala, and some salt in a small bowl. And then you're gonna stir that sauce into the millet and the greens and just mix it all together. And that's it. You get to enjoy a beautiful dish. Let's give it a taste, shall we? Mmm. Yeah. <laughs> it's really good. Really, really nice. It has a really healthy, nurturing quality to it. And as I mentioned before, as an alternative to rice or wheat, millet is really light. And so you have kind of a light grain with the light greens, also spiced adequately. You've got a good amount of ghee in there as well. Mmm. And I can taste the salt and I can taste the lime. Top notch. Well, we did it. Thank you for watching and know that you can get the full recipe from the description below. Also, be sure to hit subscribe and click the notification bell icon to get more recipes like this. Enjoy and I'll see you next time.